to the Highland Girl of Inverse Aid, W. Wordsworth. The speaker is enchanted with a girl raised in a sheltered and most pleasant environment. Her beauty and unaffected manner inspires admiration as well as a protective instinct to shield her from a harsher reality than she seems to experience in her Highland home. To the Highland Girl of Inversnade Sweet Highland Girl, a very shower of beauty is thy earthly dower. Twice seven consenting years have shed their utmost bounty on thy head. And these grey rocks, that household lawn, those trees, a veil just half withdrawn, this fall of water that doth make a murmur near the silent lake, this little bay, a quiet road, that holds in shelter thy abode. In truth, together do ye seem like something fashioned in a dream. Such forms as from their covert peep, when earthly cares are laid asleep. But, O oh, fair creature, in the light of common day, so heavenly bright, I bless thee, vision as thou art, I bless thee with a human heart. God shield thee to thy latest years. Thee, neither know I nor thy peers, and yet my eyes are filled with tears. With earnest feeling I shall pray for thee when I am far away, for never saw I mean or face in which more plainly I could trace benignity and homebred sense, ripening in perfect innocence. Here, scattered like a random seed, remote from men, thou dost not need the embarrassed look of shy distress and maidenly shamefacedness. Thou wearest upon thy forehead clear the freedom of a mountaineer, a face with gladness overspread, soft smiles by human kindness spread, and seemliness complete that sways thy courtesies about thee plays. With no restraint but such as springs from quick and eager visitings of thoughts that lie beyond the reach of thy few words of English speech, a bondage sweetly brooked as strife that gives thy gestures grace and life. So have I, not unmoved in mind, seen birds of tempest loving kind thus speeding up against the wind. What hand but would a garland cull for thee who art so beautiful? O oh, happy pleasure here to dwell beside thee in some heathy dell. Adopt your homely ways and address, a shepherd, thou a shepherdess. But I could frame a wish for thee, more like a grave reality. Thou art to me but as a wave of the wild sea, and I would have some claim upon thee, if I could though but of common neighborhood. What joy to hear thee and to see, thy elder brother I would be, thy father anything to thee. Now thanks to heaven, that of its grace hath led me to this lonely place. Joy have I had, and going hence I bear away my recompense. In spots like these it is we prize, our memory feel that she hath eyes. Then why should I be loath to stir? I feel this place was made for her. To give me pleasure like the past, continued long as life shall last. Nor am I loath, though pleased at heart, sweet highland girl, from thee to part. For I, methinks, till I grow old, as fair before me shall behold, as I do now, the cabin small, the lake, the bay, the waterfall and thee, the spirit of them all.